When I click and hold on the volume down button, my phone opens up YouTube. When I click and hold on the volume up button, it opens up the camera application. And just like these custom actions, you can set up a lot of different actions by doing different triggers on your phone from this application, which is called KeyMapper. Now this app is not on the Play Store and is completely open source. You can download it from the link in the description below. Once you install it up, simply open it up and over here you will find a plus button. Once you click on it, you can record any trigger, whether it is pressing any button on your phone or pressing it twice or thrice or adding a sequence like that. And once you're done with that, you can head over to the action section, hit on add action. And from here, you can launch any application, do anything on your phone, basically with a custom trigger. All in all, guys, if you want custom actions on your phone, this is an application that you should have installed. If you guys like this application, I'm sure you'll like the rest of them as well because today's video is about applications that are not of the Play Store but are ones that will be incredibly useful to anybody using an Android phone. With that said, what's up guys, Anubhav here, welcome to a new one. I'm sure you guys will enjoy this too. So make sure you drop a like, click on the subscribe button, press on the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. And with that said, let's get started. ladies and gentlemen is a super cool music recognition app called Audile and this basically uses the Audile API token to recognize songs. You can add a token link if you have it. Even if you don't have it, the free one works really well. However, the collection of songs that it can recognize becomes limited. All you have to do when you want to recognize a song from your phone is open the app up, hit or tap to recognize, it will listen to the audio sample and give you a result. Like you can see, I have the Nights by Avicii here that this app had recognized. And once you have recognized the music, you will also get a lot of different apps that you can directly play that song in, whether it is Spotify, YouTube Music, Amazon Music, and a few other options as well. So this is a great way to not only, you know, recognize songs and keep a backup of songs that you wanted to recognize, but also directly play them from this app itself on any music streaming software. I'm sure you guys will like this one too. With that said, guys, the next application is also really cool and this is called Fake Standby. Now, even though I have mentioned this in the past, this is actually a really cool application with which you can completely turn off your display and make it black so that you can save battery when you're doing something like listening to music directly from YouTube. Let's say you don't have YouTube Premium and you're driving. There's no reason for your screen to be on and for your battery life to, you know, basically go down with time. Simply turn on your music in YouTube, make sure you have the notification option on and once that is on, go to your notification bar, click on fake standby and just your screen will be blacked out. To stop it and to return back to your screen, you can either do a four finger tap on your screen or swipe up from bottom to the top and the screen will be back on. You can use this for many situations. I'm sure you guys are more creative than me, but you can basically run an app with a blacked out screen to save battery. With that said, guys, the next application on the list is called Musify and I found this new app in FDroid a while ago. It's a perfect music streaming application that lets you listen to any song on the internet using this app and also download it directly to your internal storage. So let's say you don't want to pay for Spotify or for a YouTube music subscription just to keep your offline library and you want a completely free solution. This is a pretty cool app to do that with. The UI is also very cool and very nice looking. It looks modern and minimal and whatever songs that I searched for, I could find it here. So that makes me think that it has a big collection as well. You guys are welcome. With that said, we move on to the next app which is called Ad Free. Now, Ad Free guys is a solution to Spotify ads. I know the free version of Spotify now has become absolutely terrible, but let's say even if you still use it, this is an application with which you could at least do something with the ad. So this is a free and open source app. You open it up, give it permissions and swipe till you find the section where it says, what do you want to do when the ads are being played? Over here, you have two options essentially. One, you can mute the audio. Whenever an ad is going to be played, that audio will be muted so you won't have to hear that annoying ad. Or you can substitute it with a piece of local music. So hit on local music, from here, you can select the music directory and make sure that you select the song that you want to play. So whenever there's an ad, your particular song is going to play. Pretty cool way of keeping it still legal. 
and a smart way of dealing with ads if you don't want to pay for the premium subscription. Next up guys is a browser based on the Chromium project which is again based on Chrome but it doesn't have the trackers as well as the ads that you get inside Chrome. This is a browser that I've already spoken about before but since it is so good I had to mention it to you guys again. This is Chromite. I know you guys must have heard of Bromite but this is actually an updated version based on the same API and the same language model. It's pretty cool. Think of it like Chrome, but ad free and more open source, so better privacy features. Not only do you get rid of all the trackers and everything else that comes with Chrome, there's also an inbuilt ad blocker where if you click on it, you can select different settings like legacy ad block settings and normal ad block settings that will just let you, you know, mute those ads and hide those ads from most websites. It works really well and it's also pretty lightweight and looks and feels exactly like the Google Chrome app. So you might want to think about switching from Google Chrome to this one for added features. Next up guys, we have an application to manage all these apps that are not found on the Play Store. This is called Octanium. And this is also a pretty new app that I found out. Basically, you know, whenever you download apps from places other than the Play Store, let's say from F-Droid or from APK Mirror or from other websites, it's always very difficult to update them because you individually have to go to these websites and then see if there's an update. So auto-updating them is a bit of a hassle. But with Obtainium, you don't have to worry about it. Simply click on the Add App button. And from here, the only thing that you have to do is add the URL of the app of where you download it from. It supports GitHub, GitLab, Kontberg, FDroid, and a lot of other sources that are listed in the app itself. Simply place the link. You can also search for an application if you want to select it that way. And whenever after this, whenever there's going to be an update available, you can auto-update them directly from Obtainium. Pretty cool to manage all your apps from sources other than the Play Store. So definitely, if you end up downloading a lot of apps from this video, this becomes a must-have for updating them in the future. With that said, guys, next up, we've got a really cool application if you end up enjoying setting a lot of different wallpapers. This app is fairly simple. It's called Slideshow Wallpaper. You can select up to 512 images in a slideshow and set it up in this app, then set this app as your wallpaper. And basically, within a fixed time interval, well, these images will keep cycling and your wallpaper will keep changing. Highly important if you like setting up different wallpapers but you want to see all of them in sort of an album-like way on your phone. So it's really cool. You can select a lot of other parameters like the selection order, the time in between which the images are changed and also how is it scaled? Is it scaled up to fit, scaled down to fit depending on the photos that you select? In my usage, it has worked really well and very seamlessly and it's also a very lightweight app so it won't really take up a lot of your battery or RAM while it is running as your wallpaper. With that said guys, the second last app on the list is called URL Check and this is again an app that I have spoken about in the past but man, a secure app like this should be a part of your top Android app list no matter what. URL Check is an application which basically is going to act as your intermediary whenever you click on a link and you actually open it in your browser. What it lets you do is basically see what are the different parameters in a click that you link. Over here, you can select if you want it unshortened. You can see the status of the link. You can see if there are any referrals and you can also remove the referrals with a single click. See the domain, the parameters and the fragment and you will see, you know, more security features. For example, if a link only has HTTP, it will suggest you to consider using HTTPS for more security. And all these things can be done within this pop-up itself that appears. Simply hit on apply on the features that you want to select or remove, then hit on open with Chrome and it will open up that link in your normal browser. A great way to keep an external tab of security on the links that you click on the internet, because God knows how many links we click on on a daily basis so this is a great way to keep your phone secure with that said guys ending up today's amazing list of applications we have smart dog smart dog is a great way of having a dog on your android device or on your android tablet now there are different modes i obviously selected smartphone here but basically the way it works is you get a dog of your most used applications along with a button to open up your app drawer as well this dog constantly changes the applications based on what apps you have recently opened so you will quickly cycle between them one after the other. You can also do a simple swipe down gesture to hide the dog, let's say after you're done using it, and it just quickly 
tightens itself up into a corner of the screen and you can open it up simply by clicking it again. The app also has a few customization options like selecting the appearance of the dock as well as applying an icon pad to the icons to make sure your Android theme looks well with this app. Overall, it's a very good multitasking app with a lot of other settings that you can tinker yourself with in the settings. And yeah, I'm sure for multitasking users, this is going to be an app that you guys will really enjoy. With that said, guys, these were the 10 amazing Android apps that are not on the Play Store, are super underrated and are ones that you should have no matter what on your Android phone. If you guys did enjoy this list and ended up downloading even a few apps, let me know in the comments. It would always make me really happy to know that I could help you guys out in any way. Make sure you like, subscribe, press on the bell icon so that we keep making these amazing videos and you don't miss out on them. With that said, guys, this is Anbub signing out. I'll catch you guys next time. You guys have a great day. Stay safe. Peace out and bye-bye. Uh,